Welcome back again with our third part of this exercise of plate with hole in the center of the plate. Now we will go through the graphical uh, details here. So as you can see here, this is the quarter of our plate with the stresses applied. So if I want to make a copy or if I want to print this uh, picture, how can I do that? Simply I can go to file and choose a print and in a print you can say either here uh, where is it okay the destination it could be printer or we can send it to file if we want to send it to file we need to define the format as tiff and we'll give it a file name like the font shape and we can choose the destination uh, in my case, I will choose finite element analysis modeling and thin plate with hole. Okay, so I will save it here. And okay, so I have a picture of uh, I printed. I have printed this picture. And now, if I want to go to uh, stress uh, fringe plot, uh, this is the stress distribution that you can see in front of you. And if you want to clean it up, you can go to Viewport and choose Viewport Annotation Options. And from that, in general, if I choose that, uh, don't choose to show the title block, just take, this is the title block, I can take it out. And I can take out also the state block, which is, this is the state block, by hitting Apply it has been taken out and if I move to legend for example I can set the f this is the legend I can set the font of the text used here instead of 8 I will make it 12 and I can change the font to Arial for example I will hit OK and the size changed and I will hit OK again here before that um, well, the way that they uh, explain the stresses here is a little bit confusing because they are using the scientific format, so I'm going to change it to fixed, and I don't have to see any decimals, so I'll say OK, so voila. Stresses here is very obvious. So I can say that the stress on the bottom is compression and it's 12, and on the top is 438 and it's tension. It's very clear here. Also, other thing that I can do here is if it is too confused to me to see all the mesh generation here along with the contour lines, I can take the, gener the, the mesh here. So I think if I can go to options and common and then I can say what? Extended edges? No. Feature edges. Okay, here we go. We can have only the contours of our stress, or if I want, I can get it back, go back to options, common, and choose exterior edges. It's okay. Now we are ready uh, to know more about um, about plotting um, the stresses here. So uh, if I want to know how the stress is developed in the left hand uh, edge here what I can do is the following I can draw it in X Y coordinates so how can I do that I will go to plot because I want to plot so I will go to plot and I will choose a different shape then I will go to tools and choose X Y data and create X Y data or no, before that I need to define a path, so I will go to path and create path. I will call it path1, leave it as path1, or you can say is that this is the left edge, for example. Left edge, okay, it is a node list, so I will say continue. And I will choose add before, and then I will choose all the nodes on this path, from bottom, to up to top so just 
make sure that you will get your arrow very close to the first node hit it the second one it will be the node will appear so you can hit it that's why I try to show the mesh again and with a lot of patient here I can choose all all notes make sure that you are not uh, you are choosing all these notes and you are not missing any one of them it's very important in the way of the curve that will appear and this is the last note by hitting uh, by doing that I will choose done but I want to see it all okay choose done everything is okay this is our uh, part instance and uh, this is the notes all notes that I choose so I will hit OK and then I will go to tools again XY data and I will choose create and the source of my data will be the path I will say continue now I can see in path there is something called lift edge which is the path that I created just right now now I need this is will be uh, the source of my data which is it is my actually it's my x-axis now if I want to define my uh, y-axis as, as you can see here the x value is the true distance the y value I will choose uh, s11 chosen here if I want to change it I can hit filled and filled options uh, output sorry and I will I can choose anything from these components here so I want to play a uh, plot it and let's plot it there we go very nice very smooth so as you can see as you can see here if the distance is zero which is the mean this is the tip or, or the uh, upper uh, corner of the of our quarter curve our uh, quarter of the circle at a distance zero we have 432 the stress is there 438 I remember and as we are going up towards the end of the plate the stresses will be reduced until it's reached uh, something like 20 or uh, la, la, no it's less than 100 actually less than 100 uh, megapascal on a distance 20 uh, millimeter uh, moving from bottom to top of the plate okay what if I want to see what type of stresses that I have uh, and how it's changed along the circle my my opening so I will go back to undeformed shape there we go and I will try to choose a path moving from here down until the end of our circle the quarter of circle and I will see how the stresses will be behave here so I'll try to, to plot it again how can I plot it just like I did in the first place I will go to tools and I will define a path first so I want to go to create I can change it here from path 2 to opening and it is a node list I will press continue and add before then I will move from I'll try from bottom to top so I will start with this this is the first node second third and third and I will do all of them all the 30 nodes that I have and see how the stress distribution will be Okay, 
Now I will go again to Tools, go to XY Data, Create, from Path, and I will choose Opening. There we go. And I want to see the S11. That's fine. Plot it. So here we go. We have 12. Uh, it's my actual. It's it's minus 12. It's compression. This is the zero stress, and this is minus 12. And as we are going up, we are. We can see here that our stress is moving and increasing from compression to tension until it's reach around 438 on the top of our uh, opening so I think that's that more thing that we can do on this uh, example is we can do like a parametric study uh, what type of parametric study that we can do just think with me we can change the type of elements used uh, we can change the size of our opening, uh, the, the hole that we have. We can change also the the way of, of the hole. That means instead of a circle, we can choose maybe elliptic. Why elliptic shape? Because I will not let you know now. I will let you know later with the next video. So uh, this is the end of my video. Thank you for your uh, watching here, and I hope that we'll meet you in uh, coming videos. Thank you.